What is going on, YouTube? Old time. Rambler 69. I'm going to give you a final reveal today of the small scale group build that was being hosted by Brian, Mr. BG, and Sean over to Scale Model Car Guy channel. And uh, we want to thank both those gentlemen for hosting this again this year. It's always a lot of fun. And uh, if you all remember what we were building, we were building this. Jungle Jim 74 Vega Funny Car that Atlantis put back out. And uh, we're going to show you some things that we did with this car to get it to uh, to look more like the authentic car. And uh, we'll show you what we got here. All righty. There you go. So one of the, one of the big things that I had to do you look at this uh, this box back here. If you look back here, let's let's move this there a little bit. There we go. Let's do that. Okay. If you look here, this whole back of this car is sitting too high. And when I investigated what was going on, the uh, the rear axle's out too far, and this tire's actually rubbing on the inside of the body right here. That's one issue. So what I did. Which, uh, let's see here. See if we can flip this over without tearing something up. What Tom did was this axle right here. We narrowed all this up. We cut it. We narrowed it up a lot. Like, I don't know. I think it was like maybe a total of five millimeters or something like that total. But we narrowed it up quite a bit. And if you look at the real cars, those wheels was, was tucked in much closer than what, what they had on there. So we got that cut and narrowed up. So then the the tire would would clear inside this fender. But it was still sitting too high because this body mounts back here on the chassis, which is that's going to be the set height. So what he ended up doing was I had to cut that mount off and uh I made a notch back there and I raised it up. I think it was about 6 millimeters and uh, I raised that up and it sits really nice. When I put this body down here in a second, you'll see it sits really nice now. So you can work on this car and get it to look a lot better than, than the uh, what you get in the kit. But uh, we'll show you here with the body up before I get the stand off of it. But uh, this is bare metal foil. If you look at the real car, he's got aluminum panels. And uh, we just bare metal foiled that. The uh, wheels... Valve covers, blower, and injector scoop I sprayed with Molotol Chrome. And uh, if you look at his car, all that stuff was really shiny. So that's the way we left it. And this blower, blower belt, and scoop are all 3D printed parts by my friend Dan over at Pine Needle Customs. And uh, they look fantastic. The kit blower and scoop was split down the middle. It was going to be a nightmare. And it was just a big hollow piece of uh, plastic. I did not like it. And I asked him if he could shrink me down one, and he did. And it mounted on here super well and looks fantastic. So we really appreciate you, Dan. And uh, that was really, really great job. If you need any 3D parts, get hold of my buddy Dan. He'll hook you up. But uh, we also, this axle and all this is just molded in. So we bare metal foiled this front axle bare metal foil the fuel tank and uh, we got all that looking really nice I think but she come out cool let me take this stand off and we'll show you how she sits little stand just pops out get that out of the way and the body actually snaps down and locks in place which is kind of cool but if you would uh, look at this now she sits much lower in the back than the way this sits here on the box art and uh, it can't go any lower because the roll cage is almost to the roof. It's got just a little clearance. So that's as low as I can get it, but it looks much better. There's not a big gap now between the uh, headers and the bottom of the car. So I think it's sitting just about where it needs to be. So that turned out really super nice. And uh, these decals, they went on really great. Had no issues with them. These are some that I uh, had to buy another sheet to get some contingency stuff and scale the tail lights I bought off a sheet on eBay to get the lights we did all the parachute we got the cables got all that done and uh, it turned out really super cool 
and uh, headlights that was off that same sheet that I bought got those on there and if you look at the windshield it shouldn't be silver all these cars they were had a black surround and there was little rivets all the way around holding that in so I took some 20 thousandths Protec PE bolt heads and I sat here and I glued all them around there now these things are tiny they're 20 thousandths and that was uh, quite a project lost quite a few of those but uh, I think it was worth the effort it, uh, it really sets it off so we're happy with the paint we're happy with the clear coat and uh, it's gonna be a nice little addition to my funny cars and we'll put her up here in the cabinet and enjoy it and uh, maybe next year I can find me another little funny car but uh, you guys tell me what you think we had a lot of fun with it and uh, we'll put uh, some still picks here at the end of the build process and uh, been watching a lot of the finals on the uh, small scales and everybody's doing a super nice job out there a lot of great cars so everybody take care and uh, keep enjoying the hobby. Old Tom. Rambler 69. Right here, guys.